So I'll copy this file to the Linux file section so I can install it. Wait, hold on. Was this always here? You mean to tell me that I could have just clicked on here to install all of my downloaded Linux packages? When did they add this? Hi everyone. Today's going to be a quick video showing Chrome OS users a more convenient method of installing Linux packages that you download from the internet. The usual way of doing this is to download the file, making sure it's in your Linux files area, and then type a command that will install it. However, I accidentally found another way of doing it that was right in front of my face this entire time. I have no idea how I missed this. So onto how you do this. Go ahead and download a Debian package that's not available in the standard repositories. I'll download the DVber database program as an example. After it's downloaded, you don't have to copy the package to your Linux files area. Just right click it and then click install with Linux beta. A window will pop up. Now wait for some information to show up about the package being installed. After that info appears, click install to begin. You will start to see the installation progress to the bottom right. And while that's happening, I'll click OK on the information window to make it disappear. When the package is done installing, you're done and it's ready to be used. You can launch it from this pop-up at the bottom right, or you can launch it from the app launcher. So that's an easy way on how to install a downloaded Linux package. Now I'm going to show you how to uninstall it. It's just as easy. Bring up the app launcher, go to your Linux apps, right-click on the one you want to uninstall, and then click on uninstall. Click Uninstall again to confirm. And you're done. So I hope this tip is helpful. It's always good to find faster ways of doing the same thing. Anyway, if you found this video useful, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. Thank you, and I'll speak to you next time.